Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the recent uh, approval on the export of the Akash missile system. So the cabinet chaired by the Prime Minister Narendra Modi recently approved the export of the Akash missile system. Also, a committee has been formed for fast approvals of export of the missile system. So the question arises that why is the export of Akash missile system is taking place? See, the government of India has a target of 5 billion USD of Akash missile export. And according to the Defence Ministry, the Akash missiles have more than 96% of indigenous components. So the export of Akash missiles will help the government of India to achieve its target of 25 billion USD turnover in defence manufacturing by the year 2025. Moreover, the Indian Armed Forces are to spend more than 130 billion USD of capital procurement in the next five years. This will also help boost defense manufacturing. Let's discuss what are the key features of Akash missile. So the Akash missile is a short-range surface-to-air indigenous missile with a range of 25 km. It has been developed by Defense Research and Development Organization under the Integrated Guided Missile Development Program. The Integrated Guided uh, Missile Development Program was started in the year 1984 and it is manufactured by Bharat Dynamics Limited. So the range of the missile is 25 km and it has the capacity to hit its target in any weather. The missile can go up to 18,000 meters in the air and it has the capability to destroy fighter aircraft as well uh, cruise missiles and ballistic missiles. Each regiment of Akash missile has six launchers and each launcher has three Akash missiles. Now let's also discuss some of the reforms that took place in the defense sector. So the finance minister in May 2020 announced several reforms in defense sector. These reforms aimed to boost the defense manufacturing capacity of the country and increase the exports and make the defense forces efficiently equipped. See, a separate budgetary outlay was made to procure Indian-made military hardware and the foreign direct investment limit in defense sector was increased from 49% to 74% under the automatic rule. India imposed a ban on import of 101 weapons and military platforms such as conventional submarines, light combat helicopters, cruise missiles, transport aircraft and sonar systems.